and, and it said, look, you can't go back. You've, the only way, you've, you've gone too far. The only way you can go is forward. And I, I got to a point to where during this ceremony, and it went on for like about four or five hours. I was ex I was so exhausted, I was so tired. I I could I had I couldn't even move. But then I just listened to the music and I was like, God, just just I give up, just take over. I was just dancing and I got up and I just started dancing. I just had the energy. Uh, but it was whoa, it was for me. When I do this medicine, I move around and it just, it's almost like an electric charge and it's like, boom, boom. I can't stay still. I can't stay still. So what happened, this is all happening during a lot. I'm doing the Reader's Digest version. This is hours of this happening. And this gay guy, Barbara, kept coming around me, like close to me, close to me, close to me. I'm like, that was a little bit... <clears throat> distracting and my defenses got up so i my, my when your defenses go up it's you it means you, you close your spirit it means you, you're closed like you don't want to like you stop you're like uh uh i don't want to go anymore i'm not going anymore so once you stop your journey stops so that's essentially what happened and it said that you just got to learn to you got to learn to overcome that and you've got to learn to love people without judging them. And so that's, and, and then it goes back to judging yourself because if you're judging other people, that means you're judging yourself. So once you learn to stop judging other people, you can stop judging yourself and loving yourself more. So that's what, what, the, what the medicine uh, revealed to me. Like they're gay, like, but I don't need to, entertain that with me well why even think that the problem the problem with that issue with that thought is that why are you thinking that's not for me why are you just not saying hey they're a person and i love that person it's okay whatever they are and just love that person regardless of what they are or who they are or whatever instead of thinking Oh, I see this huge, <laughs> I see this feminine man coming at me and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm defensive already. That's not the right spirit to have. That's not the right spirit to have. So that's what it showed me. Why your guard, guard is up. Uh, the other thing that happened was the last time. So I talked about these uh, possible the possible idea of a girl here was pregnant and what happened was I uh, was not sure I don't I'm not, I don't know for a hundred percent certainty that this girl is pregnant but what when I was upset about it and I was distressed and I was emotional about it I went out and I spoke with someone one of the leaders there his name is Andres he's a good guy he's I think he's married to one of the girls that are there. And one of the things he said, he sat down to me, he said, look, he said, do you know for a fact this girl's pregnant? Number one, I said, no. He said, the medicine told you it's pregnant. Yes? I said, yes. He said, well, he said, okay. That doesn't mean that's 100% certain. You can change. Yes, you've been given a, you've been given a sentence this is your sentence, but you can change it. You can pray to God and you can seek God. And right now you can go back in there because I was outside um, distressed about this. You can go back in there and say, look, uh, I'm sorry. This was a mistake. I apologize and I, I, will, I will pay whatever I need to do. I will pay the consequence. I will pay to, to get out of this thing. And so... I did that. I went, I said, I said, yeah, because what happens in the, it happened, what happens in the spiritual realms happens in the physical realm. So he said, you can change the course and have God remove that, that girl from being pregnant. If you choose to like repent and like say, look, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do this. This was a mistake. 
and uh, whatever I need to do because some you don't pay the price, but others you do. And in this particular instance, I went back in there and I prayed and I felt that this girl is going through some problems with her teeth. She's got some tooth issues. So do what I can to help this girl because she's she's having some problems. She's a good person. Don't get me wrong. I mean, she's a good person. I just don't want to have a kid with her. All right. And I've known her for a couple of years. Uh, and help this girl as best as I can. And then just let her go. Just cut her loose. So help her with her situation with her tooth. And then just cut her loose. So that's what I need to do. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I think that when you have authority, you have responsibility with that authority. And if that authority means you've made a mistake, then you have the responsibility to, to correct that mistake if you can correct that mistake. And I, I am going to do that. We'll do it when I see her. She's coming over later today. When I see her, we'll do a, we'll do a test and I'll find out. I, she's not pregnant uh, because what happened was when he had when Andres had told me he said okay you can go in there and you can change the course of your life you can change your future in the spiritual realm if you choose to if you're willing to if you're willing to do it and and, and if I would have said I'm not doing I don't care I'm not doing nothing it doesn't matter what happens then yeah she would be pregnant right now. I believe that she would be pregnant right now and I would be fucked up. Well, here in Colombia, really, it's not like she can put me on child support, so it really wouldn't have been bad, but I just don't want that on my conscience. I, I don't want to have that be in that situation and say, hey, you want to be God's champion, yet you're, you're, you're a scumbag because you're not taking care of your kid. I, I just didn't want to have that on my conscience. So, so I did change the course. I believe I did change the course and direction of my life. And uh, well, like I said, uh, she's not pregnant. Uh, we'll confirm it here for sure. Uh, I'm with 100% certainty in my, in my spirit, in my faith, I know that she's not pregnant. There's a price to pay that comes with forth with authority. And this is a... This is this journey that I'm on is a hard journey. It's a tremendous amount of investment and work in myself, and the only but the only way I can I can do, go is forward. Now, what Andre said was he said, "Look, we have another ceremony coming up next week." He said, "Why don't you come to that?" And I was like, "Man, I don't want to come to another uh, ayahuasca ceremony." I was like, "Man." I'm done. I'm. I'm. Every time I I go and do these things, I get beat up, and I I'm like the the medicine just keeps telling me about things I need to change in my life. Like boom, yeah, you're doing good stuff, but you're also doing bad stuff. You also need to change and level up. But uh, every time I do the medicine, it's hard. But I'm gonna go. I've said okay, all right, I'll, I'll go. I don't want to go forward, man, but. You, you, like you said, you've gone too far Let me go forward. This is very personal stuff, man, and I definitely don't want this shared. Anyway, that's my video.